With Straight Outta Compton enjoying massive success, Ice Cube and his son Jackson O'Shea Jr. may be looking to real Los Angeles events once again for their next project. According to The Hollywood Reporter, Ice Cube is looking at starring in the L.A. riot-centered action thriller entitled April 29, 1992. According to the report, Ice Cube would star as a former criminal who, during the L.A. riots, has to protect both his son and his workplace from a violent group who aimed to steal an immense quantity of platinum. Mark, what do you think of the sounds of April 29th, 1992. I do like the sounds of April 29th, 1992. As long as it doesn't come out on April 29th in any year 2016, <laughs> it should come out like a January or a February because it sounds like an action movie in the same style as like an Olympus has fallen situation where there's this event that happened and now we got to protect ourselves. It sounds like an action movie that you would have seen in the late 80s or early 90s to me. It's taking place in the early 90s. O'Shea Jackson so impressed me playing his dad. I'd love to see them on screen. I can't believe that that's my new favorite father-son combination beating out Will Smith and Jaden Smith. The kids' tweets are just too crazy. I want the cubes on more in more movies. I'll still go for Kirk Douglas and Michael Douglas, but um, <laughs> I, I, it's, I don't know how to feel about this because when I first heard this news, and I, it, it was really more the headline of it, I got very excited because I know the issue of the L.A. riots is something that Ice Cube is actually very passionate about. Uh, he cares deeply about it. He was right in the middle of it, too. Like, a lot of people live in Los I remember talking to him. I was obviously uh, up in Canada watching with, uh, like, a lot of Canadians were. Look, look at these silly Americans, what they're doing to each other. But I remember talking to Anne, you know, my wife, who, who does live here. And just she was recounting, like, it was a scary time. It was a scary time, not not just because of the riots themselves, but we started to, it was our first real glimpse of, uh, at least in the popular media, of police abusing power and things like that. And and so it was just scary all, all the way around. And I remember when I first heard, wait a minute, Ice Cube is going to get bring a song along, doing a movie about the L.A. riots. That sounds like it could be Oscar material. I mean, I, I, that may sound like I'm, I'm jumping to hyperbole there, but honestly, that was the first thought in my head. This sounds like it would be something really, really special. I'm very excited about this. Then when I read the words action thriller, right, um, and it's going to be more like a, a Die Hard and Olympus has fallen, stuff like that, my, my enthusiasm went, oh. And, and I think that's unfair because I think if we really step back and think about it, that could also be very fun. Seeing Ice Cubed, you know, wiring traps in a store and trying to keep some guys out who are just using the LA rights as an excuse and a, and a cover to get into a shop to get platinum, I guess is what they're stealing. That sounds like it could be fun, but I haven't gotten my, over my initial disappointment of hearing it wasn't going to be that movie I thought it was going to be at first. Mm. So it's unfair of me. I, I'm, it's, I'm being very unfair to the film right now uh, just because it's going to be something else. But even that something else sounds like it could be fun. Yeah, you know? this movie's not going to win any Oscars, but the platinum <laughs> they might be stealing, maybe it's in Jerry Heller's office. You know, maybe it's NWA <laughs> Records and it just all brings it back. Up. You know, it is a little... I, I found, I'm sure that uh, that Cube will bring some resonance to the film. Even if it's an, an exploitation film, he's taking ownership of that situation. I was living in Chicago when the riots went down. And if you're using a real situation, like Olympus has fallen, all those other dumb action films, that's not about reality. This is actually about right. reality. So... They're going to have to honor that reality in some way, even if they're making an action adventure out of it. So, And I'm sure that because he has such strong feelings about it, I think it would be great. But if they really wanted to get cheesy, they'd get vanilla ice and iced tea in there to get the ice <laughs> cube tea, con, uh, you know, triple threat action. If that happens, and I'm like, yo. This is going to be a very even... cold movie Yeah, that, overall. That would be very f And that, that movie would be called Ice Cubed. Ooh. Oh, huh? We just came. We just came up Bam. with a hit. <laughs> 